All right, welcome back YouTube community to Life's Pharmacy. Um, today I'm doing a quick clip. My son has asked me to kind of give a, a tutorial on this particular system. He has a, a system that they use out on their farm and he wants to do some comparisons and be able to kind of um, record some of the differences. So I'm gonna explain some of those. This system right here is the raised garden bed um, drain and flush system. And what that means is is the water source is in the back in this case it's a koi pond um, with the water feature and we have a pump that's pumping water into this swirl filter the water comes up and there's a standpipe inside and then the heavy waste falls to the bottom and then by gravity the water comes through the plumbing and it runs 24 hours a day seven days a week filling this 30 cubic square foot uh, garden bed this garden bed acts as a filter. And what we're doing is we're controlling the water quality. When we first um, installed this system, the pH had an algae bloom in, in the pond um, and, it, and the pH was nine. Um, in two weeks, just over two weeks, we were able to drop that pH value from nine to 7.4. At 7.4, I was then able to comfortably um, start growing uh, the plants that you can see in this system right now. Now, one of the things is, as this constantly fills up with water, um, over here you'll take note of what's called a bell siphon. And this bell siphon has another standpipe, and the water, as it raises up, there's a standpipe inside this, this PVC fitting. And that water seeps in, and there's a gap, about a one inch gap, where there's just, um, uh, where, where that's what creates the suction to start the flood which pushes the water back out into the pond, which oxygenates the pond and the fish. Now, one of the other things to take note of is while that water comes and fills up this system, the plants are taking up the nutrients. Um, it's removing the toxicity from the um, fish waste. The fish waste is what provides the nutrients for the plants and the root system which is a whole nother part that I want to explain the difference between this system versus say a hydroponics aquaponics system. So this is, this is one of the key factors. Also, there's a cutoff valve in here. So it knows once it flushes, um, so it takes an hour for this to fill up, 30 cubic square feet of water. Um, it takes three minutes to flush it back out and then the system starts again. So that's a key important factor between the difference between this system, my design, versus perhaps the one that my son's currently functioning in. So what I wanna show or tell about that is that these roots actually get oxygen. They're not sitting in this, this pond water all the time when it drains. Now, here's why, one thing I wanna show you. When you look at the root system in mine, you'll notice that the roots are really thick they're not like the stringy, what I call angel hair, you know. The, yeah, they grow long in a hydroponic system, but they're not strong. And strong roots is what helps deter pests. Strong roots is what helps keep uh, a, the plant healthy um, and, um, and also from disease, right? So, so that's one of the really key factors as to why I chose this kind of, of a design. Um, versus having these submerged in water the entire time like a hydroponic system is. Um, the other thing is you can see how simple it is to relocate if you need to adjust, um, you know, very simply, uh, you just put the plant back in there. You don't have any little plastic pots and all this other nonsense to deal with. Now the other thing is, um, what you'll notice like, like he's doing right now, these are clay pebbles. This is a media. This is called Hydratune. What it is, is it's a clay pebble that's been injected with air. It's super lightweight, it's round, which makes it nice to work in for your fingers. Um, but also you'll notice it's porous. This is where the bacteria grows. The good bacteria in this is what breaks that toxicity down from the fish waste. And then of course, it's what helps um, break down and provide the nutrients that the plants need. And this is what also allows the plants to grow three times faster in this kind of a system uh, again, versus you know traditional soil systems. Now, another other th couple things to note. After about a year, um, you know, had some questions on how to clean and maintenance this. There, this is completely maintenance free. There's no weeds. Um, I never have to clean anything. You can introduce worms 
into this. By just putting them here, they'll find their way down to the bottom and the worms will eat the sludge. They'll also provide worm castings, which high in nutrients as well, and it'll be taken up by the plants and roots. Um, those worms can live in, in this type of system because again, every hour for 45 minutes, this system is drained and it's nothing but oxygen. So they do have a short period of time where they're living in nothing but uh, the, the, the water from the pond. But keep in mind, worms breathe through their skin. That's, that's the way, they can actually survive underwater. Okay, so, so, so that's one of the cleaning methods. Again, when it comes to maintenance, this system is maintenance free. Over here is what is called the swirl filter. Now what happens in cleaning that? Down on the bottom, you'll see there's that hose. It's got a nozzle. To clean it, you simply put that nozzle in a five gallon bucket. Um, you drain off all the heavy waste. And then what happens is, you use that for your compost tea. It's that easy to clean. It literally takes uh, every 30 to 45 days is when you would um, actually drain that, that um, biofilter. Now you don't even have to have the biofilter. Once the system cycles, which could vary, it depends on how long it takes for the bacteria, the good bacteria to grow in the media. Um, this system's about three weeks old and we're at the heart of summer right now so you know the heat helps um, create the bacteria and grows bacteria much faster in the heat versus say winter so keep that in mind when you're waiting for your system to cycle the other thing to take note of down here below is you have a constant fl flow of water that's circulating through in one pipe and then the pipe just to the next one is actually the flush pipe that's the one that takes three minutes to flush this uh, 30 cubic square foot grow bed um, every every hour every 45 minutes um, and that's the way that it's tuned um, and then it will flush back in there but so it's constantly providing oxygen as well um, so basically in a nutshell that's kind of the inner workings of the system um, kind of looking for anyone that has any comments again you can tell I'm biased to this particular system versus you know say hydroponics or any of those other kind of aquaponic system um, and again for two reasons one the plant roots get the oxygen that they need um, two it's a very simple maintenance free system so anyway there's some food for thought and thanks for joining